questions here. Uh, some of your own supporters, including Republicans on Capitol Hill, have labeled Vice President Kamala Harris, who is the first black and Asian American woman to serve as vice president and be on a major party ticket, as a DEI hire. Is that acceptable language to you? And will you tell those Republicans and those supporters to stop it? How do you, how do you define DEI? Go ahead. How do you define Diversity, it? equity, and inclusion. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Is that what your definition? Give that me is, a, that, that give, is Give me a definition then. Would you give me a definition DEI. of that? Give me a definition sir, of that. Sir, I'm asking you a question, no, no, a you very have to direct define question. It. Define, the, define it for me if you I would. I just defined it, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? Well, I can say, no, I think it's maybe a little bit different. So uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much, and she was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a historically black one. college. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't, because she was Indian all the way, and then all of a sudden she made a turn, and she went, she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that she is I think somebody a should look into that, too, when you ask a continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. It's a direct question, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is a DEI hire, as I, some Republicans I really don't have know. said? I mean, I really don't know. Could be. Could be. There are some, and there are uh, plenty. Where are you going? Yeah. What? Let me see the bag. What do you have in the bag? Okay. She's picking up pigeons at the park. Let me see the bag. Give me the bag. Just give me the fucking bag. Why? Because there's birds in there. No. Yes, there is. Let go. Why? Why? Because there's birds, man. You Why, can't, man? You can't steal birds at the park, Can't stop, yeah. You can't steal birds at the park. Can you Just stop let go. Can you stop that? No, you're going to hurt the fucking birds. No. I'm going to have to do something. What the fuck? You're not getting it from me. There you go. Back up. Back up. This guy's stealing fucking birds at the park. That is crazy. We're bringing him back. Stop, bro. You're getting caught out, in another bro. nigga car. Oh, excuse me, bro. Oh, don't worry. I don't like it, bro. Stop, bro. Hey, my bad. Hey, bro, cover your face real quick. I don't know. There you go. Get hey, out, you getting caught cheating on me in another okay. nigga car at 2 a.m. Okay. in the morning. Okay, goodbye. Why? Okay, goodbye. Why did, what do I do to you? Goodbye. Can I have my jacket back? Goodbye. Can I my jacket back? Goodbye. No, goodbye. Can I my jacket? Goodbye. Hey, Floyd, you ain't know shit about me? How long y'all been talking? Nah, uh, not long. How, where, where she find you at? We met somewhere, somewhere, uh, out in Manhattan somewhere. Oh, Manhattan. Damn. Okay, goodbye. Are you, we supposed to be married, bro. I thought you loved me. I asked for a right. refund, and this you happened. Put a smile for the front. Because you still will not get a refund, especially with your attitude. Especially when you didn't bring the food back. Have a good day. I called. Uh, okay. She told me to come get okay, the refund. So use the common sense or your brains too tight. Have a good day. You such a rule a manager to I be a surely, GM. I surely am. To be a I GM. Surely am. You came up here with an attitude. I should, no, actually, I did. actually, you did because I, I said I came to get a refund, and you said, you "Oh, you're not getting one." You're not. You didn't bring the food back. So what makes you think I'm? Follow me, you ate. I ain't eating nothing. No, I, I told and I, I told her on the phone. That. I threw it in the trash. She still told me to come up here and get a refund. So okay. that's on her. Okay, that's on her. But guess what? You okay, so you still supposed to make it right. Have a good day. I called and told nothing. her. I'm not making nothing. Have a good day. I called and told Have her. And told her Have I threw it in the day. trash. Have a good day. Such a rude GM. You're right, I am. You really are. And I'm I calling am. corporate. What's the corporate number? Find it out. Tell me the corporate Find number. What's the corporate number? Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. This is gonna be your job. Okay. I do not give up. Because I will do whatever it takes okay. to fight for the people that I fight for and i wish i wish that i could have voiced this in a different way so that everybody can understand it but it doesn't matter because i was here and i said it i told you and you 
Dirty fucking Muslims. They've been anti-Semitic. You're a young girl. The anti you are vile. You are below it. You're a crazy person of me. How dare you? I do not. How dare you? Look at you. You're the one who put hands on women. You're disgusting. You're a lady. 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 As an MMA fighter, you don't want to touch me. I'm an idea. You don't want to touch me. I'm an idea soldier. I don't give two flying fucks. Don't touch me. I'm going to get him away. I'm an idea soldier. 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 I'm an idea
fucking came from, you fucking cowboy. Okay. Okay. Put your fucking American flag, dog. You're not okay. American. Okay, Mr. Caucasian, we're listening. I'm following them. Fuck up. Let's go. I I do something so you can go you to jail. To fight me with your fucking brother. Do something so you can go to right jail. Now. Let's go. Do something so you can go Let's to jail. Let's go. Jail. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. To prison. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. You want to fight me? You want to fight me? Let's go. We have you recorded? Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. This is the third time. Third time. Third, time. third fucking time. No one talked to you. You racist cunt. You fucking nigga. You racist. Go the fuck back where you came. You racist. Uh, uh, you uh, fuck you. you. Yeah. Oh, they don't get, does he live here? He lives here, right? You don't belong here. You're out. You're out. Find a new place to live. Sauf que là, c'est la troisième balle de match pour Alexis Lebrun. Balle de match. Ouais, c'est gagné. Oh, c'est gagné pour Alexis Lebrun. Oh, il est fou, Alexis Lebrun. Il saute sur la table. Il a gagné. Il est trois fois champion de France de suite. Et c'est le grand frère qui dit, vous savez, je l'adore, mon petit frère. Mais je reste le grand. Et je suis champion de France, Alexis Lebrun. Incroyable. Bravo, bravo, Alexis. T'es un grand champion, tu l'as prouvé. Encore une fois, triple. Champion de France. Oh, il pleure Félix, il pleure Félix. Ah incroyable, incroyable, c'est l'émotion qu'on qu vit là. Déjà Simon Gozzi qui avait versé une larme en demi-finale après un match épique. Et là c'est au tour de Félix de craquer. Mais comme je vous l'ai dit, il y a beaucoup de fatigue hein, engendrée, ah, beaucoup d'émotions. <rire> c'est dur cette image-là, elle nous fend le cœur. 17 ans, Félix qui n'a encore jamais réussi à battre son grand frère et qui échoue une nouvelle fois. Triple champion Alexis. Il y a la joie d'un côté, la détresse de l'autre. On est habitué en sport, mais quand ce sont deux frères, si jeunes en plus, qui s'affrontent, ça donne une dimension évidemment encore plus forte. C'est dur de voir Félix comme ça. Ah, les images sont incroyables. Hein. Et pendant que son frère célèbre. Alors oui, donc, donc à Montpellier chez eux, ils avaient fait ça ensemble parce qu'ils ont été euh, donc euh, il y a. impacting the Hispanic demographic in a negative way. You are directly impacting what is happening with the children in this country and you are not doing what you're supposed to be doing as a representative representing women in this country. Shame on you. You're not going to win. 